Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about the new patch notes for the Throne and Liberty for the winter season. And new events, new dungeons, class balances, and they are huge for us specifically, for staff and want users, but for everybody else as well. So let's see it together, let's discuss it, and let's go. My name is PLK. Please, please don't forget to subscribe, right? Because I'm making video about Throne and Liberty and they are fun. But let's start. So we have a Throne Liberty update 1.8. And these guys, actually the NC Soft in Korea and Amazon right now, they're making really huge work. So many different patch notes, so many different events and stuff. It's the game is really shining at the moment. So that's really good. Let's 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 hear the Godspeed, what she's telling to us. I'm here. Today I'm yes. going to share go. what to expect in the next update. I have a plenty to go over today, so grab your drink and yes. sit comfortably. It's a Let's get dump, started. Time, actually. Stop, stop. First, I would like to talk about two. Okay, told ya, it's a beer time. Oh, I love Estrella. Cheers, guys. Two star dungeons. The first batch of this new tier of co op dungeon difficulty will arrive on November 21st. And Tomorrow. an additional one will arrive on December 5th. Okay. These dungeons will be both more challenging and more fun than the existing one-star dungeons. You may be wondering, well, Godspeed, what gear can I get from these new dungeons? Great question. There will be some new gear not previously available. And in these new dungeons, you will be able to get loot that has only been available from war bosses up until now. That's the main With the thing. So the new thing will some accessories will be new in these dungeons, and I we don't know which ones. But the good thing in these dungeons, it's basically the reimagine of the earliest dungeons, more hard, and you need to have like two thousand five hundred uh, gear score. But you can get from them, from the giant dungeons, and from the from the chests from the dungeons, you can get the arc bosses pieces like the piece sets from the arc bosses and warp bosses like ascended set for the healer or others you can get it from the dungeon so they became super cheap and you can get the full set of everything that you want exception of war boss weapons okay next up let's talk about dimensional trials okay. dimensional trials will offer a tiered difficulty system where players can select what difficulty to attempt depending on the selected difficulty Dungeon enemies will be stronger and the boss patterns will be strengthened by additional effects. Dimensional Trials will arrive on December 5th. Hey. I don't know what is Dimensional Trials, honestly, I don't. Uh, it's some kind of different type of, the, it's like Mystic Dungeons and War. So you can get additional, you know, challenges in the dungeons, but I don't know about the rewards. Are they better with these dimension Trials or not? Hey PvPers, comment, comment turn off the volume! The new feature called War Games will allow you to create custom lobbies for conquest battles. These lobbies allow for cross-server play in That's both cool. public and private matches. You can choose the Boonstone or Riftstone, the battle duration, the number of players per team, and the number of teams per game. For those of you who prefer not to fight at all, don't worry. You can also join as a spectator and watch your friends play. War games will also that's be available cool. to play on December 5th. La so that's super cool because you can challenge other guilds. Like, we, I really want to challenge the Canon Guild and we definitely will destroy them, you know, if they want to compete. <laughs> but the thing is, you can do this really cool stuff. And they also introduced the inter-server sieges, not sieges, the Boonstone and Reefstone fights, which is super cool as well, bi-weekly. So you, you can get a lot of loosen from them and a lot of fun from the guilds from NA and, you know, Europe together or whatever region you have. Last but not least, we will have a new in-game community feature, okay. Silicium Sage, okay. where veteran players can help less experienced. I mean, that's not super interesting, but that's super cool that you have it in game. You know, the Final Fantasy 14, the MMORPG that, you know, the community is a perfect community. Everybody is friendly and stuff. It's the piece of the first steps to get that. So basically, uh, people can help the newcomers with specific channels and specific rewards. So if you are, you know, smart as you can, you know, help somebody. Not to be just a smart as. But anyway, we also will have the winter event, which will be December 12th. It's like Halloween, Halloween event, but it's the Christmas event or whatever. So you know, brace yourselves. It will be really, really interesting. Now, let's read. 
So to start dungeons, we understood that we can get, it will be four tomorrow, right? 2,500 gear score for them. And you can get two pieces and four pieces of the, all the cool equipment that we want. So tomorrow, all the builds will be changing. And that's super fun, right? Okay, this is the for the new for the newbies help for the newbies now weapon skills and balance changes i will not go into details in all of them but i really want to talk about stuff and what that's our community right and the first thing stuff buffed as hell that's super good before we go there the inter-server conquest battles like i said right so we you can have chance guilds who control the Riftstone and Boonstone can participate in bi-weekly cross-server competition for the additional reward, which is Lucent. Look at that. Drops and Lucent generated by auction house taxes. So you can get more Lucent not only on the siege. And one more cool thing that we'll have. It's it's nothing, right? Okay, anyway. Stuff. So stuff have really a lot of updates and changes in their skills and specialization and the main one is serial fire bombs the specialization focus fire bombs now have 80 percent chance to reduce the effect of the receiving healing by 80 percent for six seconds when you go to the arena and you're fighting against the ball wand which is healing like hell right you just drop this thing on one target and it's like unhealable easy killable unhealable right that's that's where we really will change the gameplay and also longbow healing touch now shares cooldown with the one skill swift healing so you can't heal both of them you do the healing touch or swift healing they will heal a little bit less a little bit because you know healing touch anyway is a big one but you can just reduce the healing for 80 percent for six seconds so it will be just you choose the target you drop the serial fire bombs and the target is you know that inferno wave adjusted the specialization frenzied lightning it's not super interesting, chaining lightning, thunder, so that no longer activates the crossbow. Okay, that's no, also not super interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. So the judgment lightning, our really big damage skill, now have additional 80% chance to debuff shield block chance by 30% for, so, for four seconds. It's the same. Nobody can kill tanks or paladins, right? Now you can. You drop this, you drop this, and they have minus 30% of the shield chance block chance right and 80 percent less the healing so you really can kill this target you can so stuff right now became the the super debuffer which is which is which is really cool because stuff is finding its place in the gameplay right like you have great sword you just rush into the enemy pack and you know stun everybody kill everybody you have daggers for stealth you have balls with pew pew everything was stuff was something le not le now it's debuffer and as a stuff wand it's perfect you can heal and you can debuff that's mm, that's super good inferno meteor increased damage increased damage hellfire rain adjusted the falling meteor to the center and also as i understand heal reduction debuff effect it increased so now you can decrease the healing thing for the big area as well and frost must now when landing a basic at basic attack inflicts the frost effect on target within three meters for three seconds so you just you know have this passive you just drop anything like lightning or something to the enemy pack and everybody slowed that's i mean you're a super super debuffer right now i really love it really love it so what about wand clay salvation buffed uh, before that we can remove just remove one weekend and that's shit now it's remove all of the weekend but of the one type of the effect what does it mean but time of punishment burning time now also debuff the shield block chance so one more time you debuffing the healing potential and you debuffing shield block chance so both of these weapons became the really huge debuffer invocator is yeah yeah baby so now you can really reduce healing and block chance for the enemies that's super super good what's the name of the skill serial fire bombs let's check it serial fire bombs which ones this ones it's focus fire bombs or oh, it's serial fire bombs yes serial fire bomb this one not this one so fire barrage have target mana decrease then you decrease healing then you decrease healing by this one 
and in, on, in the one time of punishment and decrease mana and it will be also decreasing the block chance or they switch now it will be not mana but anyway you became a really really big as huge debuffer so that's the updates right that's super cool i think i think that's super cool and you know if you like the video please like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow i will make video every day from now on so just brace yourselves my name is plk bye i will see you in Tron liberty see ya